Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Meredith and I am doing a wantable unboxing video today. <laughs> my intention is to make this a quick one, but if you have been with me for a while, you will know that I am not very good at doing things in an abbreviated fashion. But let me tell you, <laughs> it has been a long day and I'm worn out. In fact, don't tell anyone, but I'm wearing PJ pants down here. <laughs> it's, it's like whenever everyone went to Zoom and it was like um, business on the top, casual on the bottom. That's where we are today. <laughs> oh, I'm doing a Wantable and Wantable is a styling subscription service. It is one of the two that are my favorites. I started with four. I have kicked one out. I still have three, but one is like on its last leg. Wantable and Stitch Fix are kind of my champions. And I'm going to tell you about Wantable. Wantable is $20 a month. You pay that 20 bucks, you get these clothes. It works kind of like a deposit system. And so if you choose to purchase something out of here, that $20 comes off of it. Stitch Fix sends you five items. Wantable sends you seven. So you do have a little bit of a bonus there. And then the other place that I think it's pretty awesome is in the quantity discount. You get 20% off your entire order if you choose to buy five, six, or seven items. Where I think that Wantable shines are with their themed edits. I always love their themed edits. This one is the Country Girl era. And let me tell you, everything on the little picture for the Country Girl era, I'm gonna put it right here, looked so me. They had beautiful embroidered jeans. They had really cute crochet tops. Now here's the problem. Whenever I went through my stream, which is uh, kind of like your preview if you're looking at Stitch Fix, it's like the options that are out there for your size and you can kind of tell them, I want this, I don't want this, or leave it alone and there's a chance that maybe it could come in. There's no guarantee that you're gonna get anything off of it. But when you choose a themed edit, it gives you like a country girl era stream right at the end there. And the items that I was, choosing from didn't really look like I could even make a picture like that from it. If I get something that fits the theme, I'll be excited. Every once in a while, especially around holidays, they'll send out these little deals like $5 for a styling fee or there's no styling fee. I always like to try and jump on those because I feel like if I have $5 or nothing to go into a styling fee, I have no pressure to buy. I normally find something, but they go from size extra small to size 3X. Whenever I'm requesting things, I kind of request it in what I think will work best for me. I'm typically a 3X on top, a 2X on bottom. I'm in about a size 20 in jeans these days and typically a 22 top. So I love that these are so personalized. I'm sorry, y'all, it is that time. It's like right around 7 p.m. and the light's coming through this window. That's why I moved this way because it was super, super white on me over there and it looks like I'm getting it here, but styled for Meredith. And I think that little extra touch is always nice. What I put in my styling notes after I went through was that I would love some dresses. If they have any printed pants in a really cute floral, I'd love that. I, of course, would love some embroidered jeans. If they have any oversized bags, I would love an oversized hand bag. Let's see what we've got. I smell something leather, so it looks like I've got a bag. It's down on the bottom. Ooh, I actually do have some really, really cute. Looky here. So I've got something leather down here on the bottom and it smells like real leather. I've got jeans, something really pretty and olive. I've got something that looks like a t-shirt. Um, I love red and we've got something striped and maybe something else floral up here. So let's check her out. Setting this guy aside. The best thing about all of these style boxes is that we've got an envelope. This one goes through USPS. Anything and everything I don't want, I stick in this. Shipping's paid for both ways. This says Wild Spirit Refined Style. It's the limited edition Country Girl era. And it looks like I actually requested a very good number of these pieces, which is always pretty exciting. And a cursory glance, it looks like I've got two dresses. What, what? Who's excited about dresses? I am. This feels amazing. So this is 78 and sunny. It's a size 3X. It looks like it's like an olive stripe, a navy stripe, and on cream. It feels absolutely amazing. This on my softest scale from like plain old Hanes tea to buttery soft is a four. We're pretty dang close to butter. I'm gonna let you see the pretty stripe. I'm honestly not crazy about tanks, but it is summer and we ought to give it a try. Let's see. There is something about these like beautiful long maxis that I am 100% here for. The straps are super elasticy. Do you see it bouncing? And then this top is smocked all the way around. So it's just gonna kind of sit around your bust. And it reminds me a little bit of an anthropology style dress, except it does not have the lining. This is just this outer piece of fabric. It has a lot of peaches and lilacs in it. I think that it's really, really pretty pretty. So there's the bottom and then here's the print on the top. 
And I lied about the lining. I just, I just found it. It's that the lining's not full length. The lining is also a totally different material, almost like a nylon. The outer part is 100% rayon. You know, I'd had someone ask me about rayon pieces recently and the quality of them. And I do have to say, a long time ago, we found that after washing rayon for a while, it would really start to disintegrate. But I have noticed that the rayon pieces that I've gotten in, I think have been fantastic. I could have told you that this was like a modal based on the way that it feels. And if this is the right price, and it looks phenomenal on, that it's rayon absolutely is not gonna keep me from getting it. So, I mean, like rayon is, it's a semi-synthetic and it's meant to be like really absorbent, very breathable, like all of the benefits of cotton, but it has like a wrinkle protection to it as well. And the pieces that I've had that are very similar to this in rayon, no trouble with washing and wearing. I hope that helps a little. This looks like a dress that I am going to love. Okay, it's by Mac Studio. It's $80. <laughs> This one's not lined. Ah, oh, it is like the teeny tiniest little, I think probably cherry print. Beautiful red print, like a super bold, so many layers. This skirt has one, two, three, four, five, six different layers. And the top is like a little surplus neckline. It just looks like super incredibly easy. It's red, the green in it is mint. I'm really excited to try this one on. This one's also a 3X. And let's see what you are made of. The end also has that little striping, just like the top around the bust. These subscription boxes really make me excited. I love the element of surprise that comes with them. I just really think there's something so beautiful and simplistic about like opening the box and seeing what's in it and then seeing how it fits. And then what I don't like, I throw back in a bag. Love it. Love, love, love. So this one is also 100% rayon, just like uh, this guy. And I'm a sucker for dresses. <laughs> So far, I'm loving my country era. This probably feels the most like country girl era, though I'm pretty sure I could get my boots on and have a fun day in this one. Okay, ah, another super soft tee. I'm normally not crazy about getting tees in my box, but if they feel like this, I'm kind of okay with it. This is 78 and sunny, it's a 3X. It's kind of, I would call it like a muted salmon is what it looks like to me. It's like he took salmon and then took the brightness down. But I do think that it's nice. It's not something that I would gravitate toward, but this is also probably a four on my softness scale. And so if I put my hands on it, I might want it depending upon the price. This is 95% modal, 5% spandex, 78 and sunny, it's a 3X. And ah, look, oh my gosh, this print is Beautiful, and I think that'll go nicely with that one. This is an olive, ooh. Okay, this is a 2X by 78 and Sunny. So it is interesting, like so far everything's been a 3X, but this guy right here is a 2X. And I have told them like on bottoms, 2X, on top, 3X. And then there are certain brands that I think run small. I've written all of that in there. I don't always know how much they read it, but I do appreciate that. <laughs> This is reflected here. These have a really nice wide leg and I adore this print. I'm bringing it up to you. Look at that. It's a beautiful olive and uh, I guess olive and white, kind of like a white with a little bit of a gray tinge to it. So I was gonna say olive and cream, but there's definitely not cream to it. It would go nicely with my kind of gray toned white here. <laughs> These don't have any lining. They're very, very lightweight. These are also 100% rayon. So see, it's funny because you asked about rayon, then they decided they were gonna send it in entire haul of rayon so that we could check it out. I think this really fits the country girl era theme. Love. Okay, and now I've gotten some, oh, jean shorts. These are by Lovervet. I know I've tried on something by Lovervet. It was like Vervet by Lovervet, but I can't remember what it is. Oh no, here it is. It's Lovervet by Vervet. Ha, and it says, love Vervet, love yourself. And so these are just some little cut off jeans and Oh my goodness. I adore a button fly. It's so funny. I watch some people on YouTube do things like this. And sometimes whenever they get button flies, they're like, oh, that's exactly what I need to button all these up. Y'all, I'm okay with it taking a little longer for me to get in it. If I think it's adorable. And look at the placement of the pockets. <laughs> I think that's awesome. When I'm looking at jeans, I want something to be unique. And I don't want that unique to be like someone's taking a sandblaster to my pants. What I want are things like this. Elements that make it a little bit different so that whenever you go out, people will be like, oh, that's interesting. Where did you get that? And that's just kind of where I am. I think that I remember seeing this bag and that it was really, really expensive. Okay, so it is like a leather satchel. It totally feels country girl era. I mean, I could smell it. It is definitely 
leather. Ah, it's got these little magnetic closures inside. It's by Day and Mood. The style is the Ferris Shopper. It's got a little zipper enclosure in here. And it's, I mean, it, it is just like tanned leather. That is, that's what we've got. Like that's the inside. There's no lining aside from that pocket. We've got this clangy like ampersand for the Day and Mood right here. I guess it's on the, it's interesting. It's on the wantable deal. I guess you could find some way to keep it permanently attached there. But, uh, oh, this is $168. <laughs> oh, I've got to have to really, really, really love you. What would 20% off of that be? <laughs> okay, I think that, I think it's time to try some things on. It really smells like a country girl era. I decided to put on my cowboy boots for the occasion. I love these jean shorts, but I had to do a little front tuck in order to let you see like the detail of them. I almost wonder if we see a little bit more here. I'm gonna have to look, like I was looking in the mirror. Is this part bothering me too much for me to keep these guys? Because I really, really love the detail. I don't even mind like the cut off bit. If you've got jeans that have this cut off and like you've washed and worn them a lot, let me know how that works. Like this is a stretch denim, but I always worry that it's going to fray and that's not really what I'm looking for. The top, I think the top is okay. Like I don't think that I'm in love with it, but I do think that it probably goes pretty nicely with, with this. One of those shorter kind of tops from Arula, like almost a crop, but one that doesn't show my belly would be really cute with it instead of, maybe not also. What do you think, Lulu? You like this one? <laughs> so let me show you the back. So here's my front. Here's my back. The winner in this outfit are the shorts. Let me see. Yeah, the top's $48. I would have to be like on the verge of getting a discount to want to keep this, but I do like it. Okay, so there are a couple things about this that are kind of neat. Underneath the bust, this is really a casing that has these drawstrings in it. So you can pull it, you can loosen it if you really want to have more of an open feel. There still is some elastic in there, but then you just tie it on the sides and you have these drawstrings that do add a little bit of something to it. The bottom has all of these layers that make it flounce out really nicely and do give it kind of a country feel. Let me put this really expensive handbag over my arm. Try and make me decide if I need something that's this expensive. <laughs> I do really like it. Like whenever I said that I would love a handbag, this is honestly the one that I was thinking, but I did not think about the price, <laughs> but it would be really, really awesome. <laughs> I don't know. I do think that this Mac Studio dress is really cute. I think I saw it earlier. It's like around the $70 range. Maybe if the discount is involved, I don't know. <laughs> we'll have to see. I do love the color. I mean, red is my absolute favorite color. And I like that it's almost like a calico print, but it's like little cherries and leaves. And I do think that it's interesting that we've incorporated that really, really faint mint green in there. I think that's very pretty. This is such a cool purse. <laughs> I don't have anything like this. I'm gonna have to like do some research on this brand. Day and Mood, I have never heard of them. Okay, I am in love with these pants, but this top is absolutely not doing it for me. I'm going to change into the other one. It just feels really slouchy. The armholes feel too low. I almost never wear tank style tops and I'm understanding why. I'm gonna put that kind of salmon-y one back on. Uh, these pants, understood the assignment. Lulu, they can't see the pants. Can you sit? Can you sit? You good, good, Lou. So they are a really nice length and they are super awesome wide leg and they just feel like a great country girl day. I'm gonna show you, let's see. If we had it front tucked or even all the way tucked, I think that it would look nice. It looks nice with something over it. The gauzy pants so far are probably my favorite. I'm gonna throw on my little handbag and we're gonna do a little walking. You wanna walk with us, Lulu? Come on. See, it's got a little drawstring. It is elastic all the way front and back. And they definitely went right with the bottoms being 2X. And it's interesting because like the Vervets were a 22, these are a 2X. I do feel like the stylist, Lulu is very interested in this bag. <laughs> Set it right there. I, I told you it's got like a strong leather smell, but I think they do a good job of if something runs a little large, runs a little small, they're pretty good at putting it together because I think that with as much space as I have in here, that a 3X would be too much. All right, last one. Nothing brings me more joy than whenever I literally save the best for last without even thinking about it. I think that this just screams the theme of the box. It feels very country girl era. I love the way it feels against my skin. I like everything about this dress. Who is this one by? This is by a company called Be Cool. And I do feel very cool in my own way in this one. 
throw it on my bag. And I just feel like a little country princess. <laughs> I love the layers in it. I really like the red dress, but this one is my favorite hands down. It's got this smocked all the way around. I don't think that I'm pooching out too much in it or that it's hugging me in the wrong places. Honestly, this one just feels like the perfect summer country dress. What do you think, Lou? Do you like this one? I had to take my boots off to get my PJ pants back on. So they're sitting up here as decoration and they are facing the wrong way. Look at you guys. So I have put them in my favorites to my least favorites, but I'm gonna let y'all know the prices. We're gonna go least favorite up. This little guy, the 78 and Sunny, I just didn't like the way that it fit on me. It's $46. I didn't like it. It's not gonna stay here. My second favorite was probably the Salmon. It was okay, but I like so many things much, much more. And this was $48. So she's gonna be going back to Wannable. And then I've got my top five and I love them all, even though one is incredibly impractical. So my red dress by Mac Studio is $80. And I feel like that's kind of spot on for Mac Studio. The place that I've seen Mac Studio like kind of out in the wild has been like, um, Nordstrom Rack, couldn't think of it, Nordstrom Rack. And I think that, I do think that this one's lovely. If I was only getting one dress though, it'll be right up here on this direction. So next I have this bag, which is, it is $168. I really like it. I mostly like that it's leather and I really like the size, but I just don't know that I need it. I'm gonna show my husband whenever he comes in, but I really do like it. I'm moving forward. <laughs> We have the Lovervet pants that I thought were fabulous. They're 69 bucks. I don't think that's bad for a really good denim that isn't just like plain old denim. I really like these. I think that if I can make these stay, I'm going to. And then these were really fun and unique. These are the 78 and Sunnies and they're $76. I just think that the print has a little bit of paisley in there. It does feel country. It feels like I could wear it to work. It feels like I could wear it out by the pool side. This one just feels like probably a, the most versatile piece in this entire box. And then my favorite, and I really didn't know that it would be my favorite, but I really like this. I don't think I've had many that are smocked all the way around. I've got a lemon one that was from Sugar Lips that I got from a Daily Look box. Other than that, I can't think of a lot where it's like a smocked all the way around my bus. I don't know, there's just something about this print and the way it feels that I absolutely adored. And this dress was $72. Okay, now it's time to do a little bit of wantable math. And <laughs> wantable math is where we see what kind of deal we could get if we do the buy, buy five discount. Now, realize that I've got a very, very expensive item in here. We're gonna start. If I did just my top favorite, it would be 72 bucks. If I did my one and two, it would be 148. One, two, and three is 217. And full disclosure, I have had some of you use my code and thank you so much. That gives me $25 credit. So I've had four people use it. So I actually have $100 off. So I'm looking at these three and because I have that $100 credit, I would get it for 117, which actually looks like it's the deal of the century right now. With that said, I have been asking Wannable for like a year for a discount code and they've given me one. It's not very huge, but if you click the link below, like it's in my description, then that'll give you $10 towards clothes. And it's not a whole lot, but I think $10 towards clothes is better than no dollars towards clothes. The next one is my $168 bag. And so this bag ends up taking it from 217 to 385, like, dang, you know, we're, we're still chugging forward. Okay, because if we add just one more thing, then we get the 20% off. So adding this one that's $80 brings everything to 465, but you get to take 20% off of that. That 20% off is $93. And that brings the total to 372. Because I have a coupon, it would be 272, even though I really want the bag and the dress that I'm gonna get these three and it'll be $170 for me. <laughs> because I can see myself totally wearing these. Think about it a little bit. I do really like the bag. I think that it's neat and unique and it actually is leather. So it, there is some quality there. Hey, I really appreciate you watching. Like I said, if you are looking for a little discount on Wantable, use it. If you are a Wantable user, you might try it because I think that it could work for you just to add to your you know, normal Wantable. I would try it. If you like this kind of content, I would really appreciate it if you give me a thumbs up. 
If you're so inclined, I'd love it if you'd leave me a comment down in, um, you know, the, the comments. And if you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing. I normally do plus size fashion. I do subscription boxes. I really do whatever is on my mind, but most of it has to do with clothes. <laughs> so I appreciate the heck out of you. The best way to support me is doing exactly what you're doing now by watching this video. And I will see you in the next one.